So just a quick video today on the safety features of the JLever Espresso Maker because this thing has no less than six extra safety mechanisms and principles. First and probably the most important is that air evacuates the system before pressurization and water is incompressible. Now I said that before in a previous video, but what does that actually mean? Well, it means that there's very little elastic energy that can be stored in a unit, even at nine bar. There's a small amount of energy stored in the elasticity of the chamber and in the arms, but upon failure anywhere in the system, only about a teaspoon of water can get ejected out before the pressure returns back down to zero. And that amount of water simply doesn't have enough heat capacitance to form a scalding risk. So let's say, for example, you don't lock the top properly and it's right on the edge of those teeth. So when it's pressurized, let's say, for example, it fails. So what will happen is the unit will lose pressure very, very quickly. And this top will maybe come up by a millimeter or so until negative pressure develops within the system and then it'll get slammed back down. And we'll do slippage testing on the main manufacturer ready prototype just to test that behavior. So the lack of stored energy is the first and most important safety principle. Number two, there's a 12 bar pressure safety release within the piston and we'll probably make the release aperture very small so that it only sprays out just a little bit of water and it kind of alerts you. And we might even drop it down to 10 bar. Number three, there's inner grooves on the cover for the main chamber. So in the highly unlikely event that the 0.8 mil thick chamber fails, perhaps due to a manufacturing fault, the silicon will smother any kind of sprays that can come out from it. So number four, in our previous video, we mentioned this vaporless extraction cover. And we've got a first prototype here, and this does double up as a safety mechanism. If you pull your shot with this in place and you get a basket failure, what's gonna happen, I think, is that you're gonna get a, a spray of water which will push the edge of this up within the chamber and it will tilt and kind of jam within the chamber. That means that this leading edge will then stop that spray of water from going up and out of the system. It will then redirect it back inside the chamber, but of course only water has been injected into the system, no air, so it will probably pop up by about a millimeter and then slam back down as it reaches negative pressure. And it will confirm that this behavior actually happens on real life testing. Now number five are these back pressure plates. So apart from the benefits that I talked about in the previous video, this also doubles up as a safety device. Why? Because all of the elastic energy that's stored in the unit is stored in the chamber. And if the basket fails with this in place, then only the energy stored in the actual basket can get instantaneously released. All of that energy in the chamber, and there's not much, will get prevented from being released with this back pressure plate. And again, we'll do, we'll do testing, we'll see how that behavior works. And last but not least, we'll have a safety lockout that looks something like this, where the locking mechanism is attached to the polycarb safety cover, and that's impossible for the unit to be pressurized without the cover in place. So that if any hot coffee does end up shooting up, perhaps if you're not using any of these, then the user is fully protected and shielded. Oh, and the cover will have an anti-fog treatment on the inside so it doesn't fog up. So there you have it, a ton of safety features. Safety is absolutely paramount, and this unit will not go out the door unless we prove safety beyond a shadow of a doubt. And probably this need not be said, but of course there's gonna be a very experienced deep draw manufacturer involved in the production of the chamber and perhaps other parts, and also industrial design house tricycle developments here in Melbourne, they'll be involved. They're highly competent, they deal with product safety on a daily basis and they'll do their own assessment. But we'll also consult with a group that specializes in metal and metal fatigue failure modes and they'll all go through it with a fine tooth comb. Worst case scenario, they'll come back to me and they'll say, Greg, you know what, we've gone through this and even with all the safety mechanisms in place, there's still a remote possibility that somebody can be splashed with hot coffee if a commercial basket fails. And if that's the case, then we'll need to do a custom basket where we control and specify everything. The strength and fatigue resistance of the stainless steel grade, the design and thickness of the basket, so that we can be absolutely sure that it will never fail under normal circumstances. So that's it. That's why I was so confident on safety. I hope that reassures people. Thanks for watching this short clip. I hope you're excited about this Expresso Maker as we are. A big announcement is coming up next with the arms because there may be a solution for the length of them. And we'll also do some blind tasting on the vaporless uh, extraction method. I hope to see you soon.